Hi folks, my name is Daniel. I'm a passionate fly fishing enthusiast with over 14 years of experience. Today, I will be sharing my review of the Hardy Ultra Disc UDLA fly reel. Here at Into Fly Fishing, we comprehensively test the gear out on the water before providing a review, meaning I have owned this specific reel and have used it daily for fly fishing activities targeting a wild variety of trout out in Ireland. This means that we are not a sponsored video and therefore can provide you with accurate reviews, providing both the advantages of the reel as well as the disadvantages. Alongside this video, we also have an article on the best trout fly reels available. Feel free to click the link in our description to see more. If you're considering the Hardy UDLA, you're also probably considering its competitors, such as the Orvis Battenkill, the Orvis SSR, as well as the Grey's Title. In this review, we will also discuss the comparisons of each of these fly reels. Before we continue the list, it would be amazing if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel. As you can imagine, it's very expensive to create these videos with our own personal gear without having a sponsor, meaning any support you can show our channel would be massively appreciated. Moving on to how we tested the Hardy Ultralight UDLA fly reel. I thoroughly tested the Hardy Ultralight on a variety of stocky legs around Ireland. It has effortlessly proven its worth by tackling double figure rainbow trout with ease. Furthermore, the Hardy UDLA has also proven its versatility by allowing me to successfully land a variety of wild trout. This includes a variety of freshwater species, including the renowned Dullahan trout in Ireland, the brown trout, as well as some small jack sized pike. Pairing the UDLA fly reel with my Hardy Ultralight fly rod has been a winning combination when targeting trout here in Ireland. On the Ultralight, I've equipped it with the Rio Gold Premier floating line, which overall improves the performance of the fly reel and complements it very well. Let's discuss the construction and components of the UDLA fly reel. You will notice that the placement of the line guard is actually below the spool's edge, which is at a perfect um, solution for Euronymph. This ensures the simplification of leader slash mono only fly rigs, um, ensuring that the fly line doesn't get caught. The construction of the UDLA fly reel deserves commendation. It beyond exceptional. I've had this reel for literally three years and have really pushed it to its limits and there is no notable evidence of damage, uh, wear and tear and all around the reel functions as if it's straight out of the box. We'll notice that the grip on the Hardy UDLA fly reel is ribbed. This means it is perfect for battling larger fish where extra grip is required. I have previously struggled on other similar competitor fly reels to ensure that when battling larger fish, I have adequate support. Um, however, I have not noticed this on the Hardy UDLA. I feel that the handle is the perfect size for targeting a wide variety of species. Let's discuss how you change the spills on the UDLA fly reel. I personally find this feature fantastic. It's very simple. Hardy have ensured that when you turn their centerpiece, um, it does not actually come all the way off, which is a great feature because it means that you don't lose a vital component of the fly reel. Now that I've unscrewed the centerpiece, all I simply have to do, pop the reel apart. Couldn't get any easier than that. Let's discuss the weight of the Hardy UDLA fly reel. The durable yet lightweight UDLA fly reel weighs in at a mere 3.8 ounces, which is incredible as this is Hardy's lightest ever disc drag system. To complement the fact that it is extremely lightweight, Hardy have released a variety of sizes. This reel comes from 3000 to 10,000, meaning you have a specific reel that can match almost any type of fly fishing need. I personally find that because the reel is so lightweight that whenever you're out on the lake or river for long periods of time and you're constantly casting, Paired with the Hardy Ultra Light Rod, I never experienced wrist strain at all. Um, you would barely actually notice that the reel is present. Overall, I'm very impressed. Moving on to the drag system of the Hardy UDLA fly reel. Unlike the previous models that Hardy had created, most of the drag systems were color coordinated into green, amber and red and they were 12 segments so you were able to change um, 
the drag into 12 different positions. This was very restrictive as it meant that you couldn't fine tune your drag so sometimes you would adjust it and it would be too large of a change or too small of a change. Unlike the UDLA. The UDLA ditches the previous colour coordinated segmented feature and votes for a fine tuned drag system with many smaller adjustments. As you can hear there is much more room for fine tuning your drag while battling larger fish and ensuring that you land your trophy trout. Once again the drag system highlights the versatility of the UDLA fly reel. You can use it for smaller stream trout and still get the enjoyment out of the fly reel as well as battling heftier double figure fish. Talking specifically about the UDLA's drag system, it is a disc check drag. This simply means that there are multiple discs inside the fly reel so that when tension is added they push harder together. Um, if you compare this to uh, click and pull drag systems, um, relatively speaking, disc check drag systems are much more powerful and are better at handling larger fish. Let's discuss the sound of the Hardy Ultralight UDLA fly reel. For some anglers, the sound of a fly reel is very important, and for some, it's not. In my opinion, I love a good sound and fly reel. I think it really adds to the enjoyment out on the water when you've hooked into a decent fish. So specifically, the UDLA's sound, I think, is brilliant. It's, similar, it's very similar to a click and check um, drag system. I will now provide you with an example of how the hardy UDLA fly reel sounds. When you've hooked a fish and the drag is being peeled, it sounds similar to this. When you're retrieving a line, on the fly reel, it sounds like this. I think overall, it's very satisfying. Let's discuss the sizes that the reel comes in in more detail. As previously mentioned, the UDLA fly reel comes in many sizes, ranging from 3000 to 10000. The reel size of a 3000 is designed for two, three and four weight fly rods, whereas the 10000 is designed for nine, 10 and 11 weight fly rods. This truly shows the, the diversity that the UDLA is capable of providing, where if you're interested in larger, heavier game fish, the UDLA can provide great sport. However, if you're also more interested in creeks and stream fishing for smaller sized trout, there is also an option available for you. It should be noted that unlike some of Hardy's competitors, this reel can be used on both the right and left hand side of the fly rod. So you can be confident that selecting any model ensures that it's an interchangeable reel um, and you don't have to buy a specific right hand or left hand design. Let's discuss the colours of the UDLA fly reel. There are two primary colours that the UDLA comes in. Firstly, gunmetal, which is the reel in my hand. Gunmetal is a silver design design cage as well as a vibrant green centerpiece as you can see. I believe it looks stunning, very aesthetic. Um, the other option is a black um, colour, comes with a black um, design cage and a vibrant orange centerpiece instead of the green. Both I think look great and are very aesthetically pleasing. Let's discuss the price of the Hardy UDLA fly reel. I personally believe that the UDLA's price is its biggest drawback. It is relatively um, pricey in comparison to its competitors. If you're interested in purchasing the Hardy UDLA fly reel, um, the price differs depending on the model that you would like. So the 3000 to 4000 range is currently roughly $410, whereas the 9000 to 10000 range is roughly $510. So there's about $100 jump depending on how large you would like the reel to be. Discussing the Hardy's competitors. So if we notably talk about the Batten Kill Orvis fly reel. The Batten Kill has a maximum disc drag of seven pound, whereas the Hardy Ultralight has a maximum disc drag of six pound. However, the Ultralight's um, weight is much less than the Batten Kill, so therefore I believe it is a better preference. The Orvis SSR um, lacks the interchangeability of the Hardy UDLA. The SSR reel um, must be purchased in a right or left hand specific model which isn't great unlike the UDLA where you can switch 
um, real positions depending on maybe if you're out in the water for long periods of time and your arm is becoming sore from reeling in. If we compare the UDLA to the Grace Teal fly reel, um, the Grace Teal weighs significantly more than the UDLA fly reel but the disc check drag system is still relatively strong and it is a much cheaper option compared to the UDLA fly reel. My overall thoughts on the Hardy Ultra Light fly reel. I personally think the UDLA fly reel is best designed for individuals seeking trout fishing. I think it can be used for a variety of other fly fishing um, needs. However, I think that it shines in battling a variety of trout species. Um, anglers are interested in your own nymph and can benefit from the design of the fly reel. Therefore, I think it is superb for any individual that likes your own nymph. I also think it is great for both beginners and advanced anglers. It is easy to use to drive is very simple and the spool change is convenient. Overall I think the fly reel is quite a intermediate reel simply because of its price tag but if you were able to afford the UDLA fly reel, I think it's a great investment and it's a reel that you could hand down to future generations. Overall, I'm impressed with the reel's ability and I would definitely purchase one again. That's it folks for today's video on the Hardy UDLA fly reel. If you've enjoyed today's video, please feel free to like and subscribe. Any support you can show our channel is massively appreciated. Check the video description down below for a full in-depth analysis of the Hardy UDLA fly reel fly reel. Alongside the article there is also links in the description if you want to purchase your own Hardy Ultralight fly reel. Also comment below and tell me what you think is the best trout fly reel on the market. Thank you very much for tuning in folks and until next time, tight lines.